Kelly and you're watching That Smells Divine. Today we have a super exciting video because as I kind of teased out in a previous video, today I'm sharing with you a fragrance that I have been hearing about for, I don't know, a year, a year and a half. I feel like I'm the only fragrance reviewer on YouTube who is not yet, who had not yet tried it, I should say. <laughs> And I finally got my nose on it, and you guys, I mean, spoiler alert, it blew me away. Can you guess what the fragrance is? Obviously you know from the title of the video. <laughs> so let's dive right into it. Before we dive into the fragrance for today, I also just wanna take a second and apologize. This video is a day late. I've been really 100% awesome until yesterday about posting my videos on Mondays and Thursdays. And I know like I have a very, 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 very small channel, right? Like there's 36 of you dear beloved souls that follow my content. Um, but I also don't want that to be an excuse for like not doing the work and showing up when I say I'm gonna show up. Um, I've had some really challenging things going on in my personal life and yesterday just kind of got on top of me and I just never filmed the video. So I'm here now filming it. Perfume is one of those things that will totally like take me out of any, you know, anxiety or stress or any like challenging moment. It will just give me an escape for a little bit. And so I'm actually really glad I'm filming this video today because it's definitely going to be uplifting, at least for me and hopefully for you as well. Also, you may have noticed that this is a completely different setup than usual. I'm at my future mother-in-law's house. We're staying here for a couple days, and so I'm filming in the guest room. Um, and I'm like sitting on like a little step ladder thing, so I know it's a little awkward, but we're just gonna roll with it. Before we dive into today's video, if you haven't already, please subscribe, hit the notification bell so you can receive notifications of future videos. And as you know, I am a very small channel, so any comments that you leave, any likes that you feel like giving only helps boost the algorithm, which helps me grow my channel. My intention, I'm just going to share this with you guys because I know like the 36 of you that are following me, you guys are like so loyal and so awesome. Like I don't even care that I only have 36 subscribers because you guys are amazing and I love you. And I'm so excited that you're here with me, that you're on this journey and that you're like, kind of my OGs, you know, because my plan with this channel is to grow it really big and to have like 100,000 followers and that's really cool and hopefully you can't hear the dog barking in the background. One of the like micro goals that I have at the moment is to grow my subscriber base and to um, get my views up so that I can monetize. And the reason why is because, first of all, if I can monetize, I'm gonna put all of that money back into purchasing fragrances that you guys are asking for reviews on. And then the other thing with growing my channel too is that at some point I can start establishing relationships with brands and getting PR and you know having them send me stuff to review for you guys. So I really appreciate all of your support. You guys are literally helping more than you know. So thank you, thank you, thank you. Okay, on to the video. So, some of you might know I have a Scentbird subscription, highly recommend. I've had scent, a Scentbird subscription for a long time. And I was resisting um, s smelling, sampling the fragrance that I'm gonna be talking to you about today, excuse me, for a very long time. I resist hype, hyped up fragrances. I resist, I've always been like this. It's not just with perfume. Like, I don't wanna go with the crowd. I want to do something different. I want to like, forge my own path, you know? And as I get older, I realize that sometimes like when everyone is super into something, it's for a reason. <laughs> and sometimes my resistance to like trying these things that everyone else is all ramped up about, like actually, cause then I'll like try the food or I'll try the restaurant or I'll try the perfume or I'll try the, you know, clothing website, whatever. And I'm like, oh my God, why wasn't I doing this earlier? You know, so I'm really trying to lean into that resistance. So this fragrance, yeah. I just resisted it so hard and part of that was I didn't think I was gonna love um, I didn't think I was gonna love it I I don't well I'll tell you the notes here in a second but yeah I just I didn't think it was gonna be a love for me so as I said I've been going through a rough time personally for the past like month and last week I had a happy hour date with a dear friend of mine Sarah and as I was like getting out, like getting out the door to head downtown for sushi, 
um, I checked the mail and I was like, oh my gosh, I have my scent bird. Like I had completely forgotten my scent bird was coming. I had put this in my queue like a long time ago, not a long time ago, like three or four months ago and like kind of forgotten that I had put it there. And so when I opened the thing and I, I opened the, you know, the casing thing and I was like, oh yes, yes. So I didn't open it. I just like, I was late to sushi. So I just like shoved it in my purse Drove to sushi, had the most incredible conversation as I always do with my friend Sarah. I'm gonna give her a shout out, she's not on YouTube. Um, Sarah Falciani, she's a boundaries coach and she's incredible. Um, I'm gonna link her TikTok channel down below so you guys can go check her out. If you struggle with like boundary setting, relationship stuff, um, people pleasing, stuff like that, she's your go-to woman for sure. Um, anyway, so we're sitting at sushi. We're having this great conversation. I ordered a passion fruit margarita for my second drink. I had this rose lychee sangria and we were leaving the restaurant. We're walking through downtown Austin. It just started to get hot here. So it was like, I don't know. It was like nine, I think when we left the restaurant and it was probably like 95 degrees out and we were just kind of like walking through the stick, you know? And I was like, oh my gosh, I totally forgot that I got this the scent and Sarah is like a Chanel wearer, right? Like she's got her one Chanel. She wears that. Like she doesn't know a ton about fragrances, but she's totally down to try them. Right. And so I told her, I was like, listen, this perfume that I have in my purse, I haven't smelled it yet. And it's super hyped up and I am going to pull it out right now and we're going to smell it. So we pulled it out. We're like walking on the sidewalk and we just like sprayed ourselves walking down the sidewalk and it, it paired so well for me with like that feeling of like, walking in the city after a sushi dinner when it's like super hot out super summery you're with a girlfriend you just had this really empowering conversation you're kind of feeling like a boss you know and then to put this on in that state of mind it just matched so perfectly so the fragrance as you know from the title is Parfum de Marley Delina now you guys Oh, I can smell it from here. I resisted this so hard and I don't know why because I'm absolutely 1000% head over heels in love with this fragrance. Like this is the ultimate, I'm a badass bitch. I'm taking over the world. I'm making billions of dollars because I say so. Like this is the most confident badassery fragrance to me. Like I know a lot of people are like, oh, it's so soft and feminine and sweet. And I'm like, no, no, no. This is the fragrance that you wear when you're taking over the world with your magic, with your genius, with your amazingness. Like to me, this is what a visionary wears, but a visionary who wants to be taken seriously, you know, like that's the best thing I can, I can think of to describe it. So the, one of the reasons I resisted this fragrance for so long is because, um, well, let me give you the notes and then I'll tell you why. So in Delina, top notes, we've got lychee, rhubarb, bergamot, and nutmeg. Uh, mid notes of Turkish rose, peony, musk, petal, and vanilla. And base notes of cashmere, cedar, Haitian vetiver, and incense. One of the reasons I resisted this fragrance is because I'm not like a huge rose person, or I wasn't. And it's interesting, like, I don't know why I had this stick up my butt about rose notes in perfume, because lately, like, I smelled something from... I always get Monsera and uh, Montali confused. It was one of those, one of those houses, rose fragrances. And I was like, wait, I like rose. Why am I avoiding rose? And then when I smelled this, I was like, oh my God, the rose in here is so beautiful. Like, why have I been avoiding this? I don't know why, like in my head, I made up the story that I didn't like rose, but it's not true at all. So the rose in here is absolutely stunning. And it's blended so perfectly with the peony and the vanilla, like it's like the, in the middle, it's like the peony, the rose and the vanilla are just like this beautiful, like integration. It's gorgeous. I was also nervous about the uh, rhubarb and the lychee because, so as you may know, you may have seen my video about, um, I always get them confused. It's either Fleur Narcotique or uh, Lust in Paradise, whichever of the Ex Nihilos has the lychee note in it. I despise that fragrance. Like I literally want to gag just thinking about it. I hate it and everyone loves it. I'm, I'm pretty sure it's Fleur Nar Narcotique. Everyone loves it and I just am like, no, I think it's Lust in Paradise actually. Regardless, everyone loves those two fragrances and I think they're the most disgusting thing ever. And the lychee has thrown me off in that fragrance and in other fragrances. So that was like the main reason why I avoided Delina. Um, and then also the rhubarb. I'm just like a little unclear on what rhubarb smells like. 
in my head it's like supposed to smell vegetal so yeah I was just really kind of avoiding this fragrance mostly because I didn't want to get on board with the hype but then also like the notes I didn't think that I was gonna like <sighs> this is just gorgeous you guys it's sexy it's juicy it's round it's summery it's um it almost has this like like weird kind of like not citronella but this sort of like bug spray thing to it but not in a bad way I know I've said that on so many videos um yeah it's just it's gorgeous I don't want to even spray it on a tester because I am holding on to this juice like it's my job um, the projection and the the longevity on this are amazing so like I can just wear one spray and it's totally like I can get away with one or two sprays um, but I definitely want a full bottle of this and it's definitely $335 so it's something that I'm gonna have to like save up for at this point in time one day soon I'll be very wealthy and I'll be able to just drop thousands of dollars any day that I please on fragrances that's my that's my goal <laughs> Mm, but this is just so pretty you guys. It's so well done. It's a gorgeous masterpiece of a fragrance So yeah, if you're a rose lover if you're a peony lover if you like really like sweet juicy soft round but sexy like um, Stand out fragrances like this is definitely a stand out. I've never smelled anything like this then this is definitely the way to go. My next step with the Delina Adventure is to get my hands on the Delina Exclusive um, because I know it's not, you know, sometimes like flankers are just kind of like the original but stronger. I know that it's got different notes in it and I've heard some people say that they like the Exclusive better, which I'm like, how? How does that happen? Um, so anyways, yeah, this is Parfum de Marley Delina. It literally, between this fragrance and our new puppy, like, <laughs> I know this is gonna sound like so dramatic but I've been having a hard time and like this has been helping and the puppy has been helping you know and I feel like this is why I'm so in love with fragrance because like fragrance can change you it can support you it can help you navigate through time because scent is more than just smell it's experience it's memory it's intention it's mood it's all of these things and you get to like help kind of co-create your reality with God, with source, with universe, whatever, you know? And one of the ways that we can co-create and um, be really intentional is through fragrance. I really believe that. And so this has been it for me this month. <laughs> I'm in love. Delina, let's get married. Okay. <laughs> Thanks so much for watching, you guys. This has been a really fun video. If you haven't already, come follow me on TikTok and Instagram. I have been so busy lately that I have not been regular in my posting over on those platforms, but I do intend to do so moving forward. So come hang out. Drop me a comment below if you feel like joining in this conversation about Delina. Let me know if you love it. Do you hate it? How do you feel? Like this video if you haven't already, and I will see you in the next one.